girl with confidence When I go all the way around I keep saying take a sip on it Take a trip on it Hello my babies, welcome back to another video If you're new, hi, my name is Esther And it's so good to have you guys tuning in As always, before we get started Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up If you enjoyed, subscribe down below And also hit that notification bell So then you are always notified when your girl uploads So in today's video It is a makeup tutorial Yes girl, I went ahead and just shared with you guys How to achieve the perfect soft glam look using one eyeshadow palette so you don't need to use too much and the eyeshadow palette is not that big either it's the perfect eyeshadow palette to even throw in your go-to purse i was very much inspired by this dress so without further ado grab yourself a snack tea whatever get comfortable and let's go ahead and get started all right guys let's go ahead and get started okay welcome back yes welcome it's good to have you so i'm gonna start with the base i'm gonna go ahead and grab this live tinted hue guard three in one it's a moisturizer spf and it's also a primer this is my second time using this product on camera but i've been using it non-stop because it's a three in one saves a little bit of time right and it has spf so we can't go wrong with that so i wanted to grab a flat brush to blend this product into my skin i didn't really want to you know blend with my hands this time around i just love the application of blending products with the brush so i'm going to go ahead and grab this live tinted hue stick corrector now i'm gonna go ahead and color correct to where i feel like i have problem areas usually under my eyes right there on top of my lip because we have a little mini mustache okay and i feel like we get a little dark around that area slightly so i'm gonna also blend this all out with a brush now in case you're new to makeup and don't know what color correcting is supposed to do to your skin it's only supposed to cancel or neutralize any unwanted pigmentation and that's usually around the eyes for me Instantly you guys see it color correct the mess out of those areas So then now I'm gonna be able to grab my Fenty Beauty um, Skin tint now. This is the ease drop such a bomb product y'all This and the rare beauty skin tint are usually my favorite products Okay, they're not supposed to be foundation obviously But I just love the fact that it gives me ability to build this product out but it still gives me enough coverage, okay? Now, when I do apply my concealer, this is from ColourPop, by the way. I'm going to just highlight all the points that I normally highlight. And I do grab a concealer shade, at least two shades lighter. Now, if you don't care for that bright under eye, you don't have to grab uh, your concealer shades two shades lighter. You can go ahead and grab at least one shade or the same shade as your skin tone. I always say makeup has no rules <laughs> you create the rules okay as long as it looks good and you feel beautiful at the end of the day and it does what it needs to do girl do you all okay? right do you so i'm gonna go ahead and just blend that all out back into that skin tint product this is perfect for um is especially if you're going for a soft glam because i feel like if you're going for a soft glam on your eyes go for a soft glam on your skin as well have your skin look super soft and glowy all right so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that same concealer shade a little bit darker and i'm gonna use this to contour bring in that warmth into my skin because obviously without contouring my face just looks very just plain you know it just looks like i have foundation on <laughs> like what blending that all in with this bomb brush y'all this is the smallest little stippling brush but it's so cute and they want to sit there and, and, and walk into my video like come on dude <laughs> but anyway it's such a bomb stippling brush gets the job done and it blends really really smooth now i have been doing my makeup for years and i feel like i have perfected the mess out of my face now um the base at least it looks so smooth and flawless and i realized the goal is always to blend whether you're going to apply a product with a brush or a beauty blender just always keep blending all right so i'm gonna go ahead and set underneath the eyes and it's just all the points that i went ahead and highlight with that concealer grabbing the laura marcier translucent setting powder so i don't set my setting powder under eye setting powder with a brush but i've heard good things i am normally the girl who grabs the beauty blender i prefer that um again it sets really really smooth in my opinion a brush gets the job done but a beauty blender just knocks knocks it all out all right so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the fenty beauty bronzer in the shade coco nutty and just set in my creams never leave your creams stranded y'all because you're gonna regret it it's gonna move 
you don't want that. So grabbing a setting spray. Now I do recommend this step if you feel like you've added too much powder on your face or you want to set your face now before you step into the eyes. That's just a step that I feel like is going to lock into in your makeup even more, even though you're going to set at the end as well. Again, I've perfected the mess out of my face my base girl so I am gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of blush if you don't care for this step again you can skip this step but I love blush I think blush is so cute um, I'm actually grabbing this artist couture blush palette stunning blush palette and it's going to look good on all skin tones so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Fenty Beauty um, eye bronzer and highlight palette so this can work as a bronzer it also has some eyeshadows in there that you can also use as a highlight as well now I love a palette like this it gets the job done and it has a lot of different ways to use it so I'm gonna actually grab that private island eyeshadow and I work that all over the crease just to warm up that crease because we have some eyeshadows that we're gonna pile on that crease as well so I'm also gonna jump into caramel cutie working that into the crease as well just warming up that crease even more and working it a little bit lower okay so blending in circular motion because we want the blend to look very smooth so now I'm gonna jump into Coco Naughty okay Coco Naughty again I'm darkening up that crease like I'm piling I'm piling into that crease I haven't really got to the eyelid yet so warming up that crease darkening up that crease now we're gonna end up jumping into the whole eyelids now y'all can see that I have a lot of eyelid space so we have a lot of room for a lot of colors to be piled on but I like to play light we don't like to add too too much now let's go ahead and jump into the lid <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. I thought I was trying to show y'all which shadow I was using, but I am grabbing gold card and this is a beautiful creamy gold eyeshadow, putting that all over the eyelid. Now, if you can see that I'm not taking the eyeshadow all the way to the end of my, my eyelid, I am just taking it halfway and then I'm also going back into the brush, blending those eyeshadows together. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and grab fat glass I felt like fat glass just added character into this eye look. <laughs> Just completed the eye look even more like the eyelid so beautiful by the way the eyeshadows blend like a dream like Fenty Beauty eyeshadows always do it so so stunning so I'm gonna go ahead and darken that crease out okay so I'm grabbing thick mint you can leave it like that and add a wing liner if you don't want to darken it out but girl I have to add a little bit of depth into this eye look we can't just leave it like that this is what makes the soft eye look look soft at least I feel like it does. <laughs> blending, blending, blending as always. Buns your arm falls off. Hey. Grabbing the same eyeshadows that I used on the eyelid as my transition shade. So Private Island, Caramel Cutie, and a little bit of Coco Nutty. And I just worked that underneath my water lash line to smoke that out just slightly. So because I don't care for eyeliner, especially for a look like this, I want to keep it soft. I want to keep it cute. I'm going to grab Thick Mint and I'm going to use this as an eyeliner. Yes, it's a nice little dark shadow, but it's not as harsh, I feel like, as an eyeliner. It's super soft and that's what makes an eye look soft. That's why we call it soft glam. <laughs> So we cannot leave the face just like that. We can't leave it bare. We have to add a little bit of highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Rare Beauty Positive Light Liquid Illuminizer Highlight in the shade Reflect. This stuff is so bomb. Mix it with the Rare Beauty blush or any liquid blush and honey, period. That's all I got to say. Honey, period. That's it. Do y'all see how stunning the highlight looks? So good. So I'm going to set it one more time using this Benefit Long Lasting Setting Spray. It has that nice mist. Oh, it's so refreshing. I didn't want to stop. And that completes the base, y'all. So bomb, so bomb, so bomb. So jumping into the lips, grabbing this Makeup by Mario. If you're new here, I like dark lip liners. I don't like anything light. <laughs> That's my go-to. This is perfect. Contours the lip nicely. So to complete the look, I had to grab a gloss. So I grabbed this Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. Beautiful sheer rose nude. Perfect for this look. And that completes today's makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the most easiest soft glam look that y'all will find on YouTube, I feel like. I love you guys so, so much. Now, Penasana, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye, beautiful.